What's going on everyone? Chris here with Clutter Reduction Junk Removal and I wanted to go ahead and basically respond to a comment. Somebody had commented on one of my older videos asking where I keep all my stuff at. My truck is pretty organized for the most part so it doesn't look like I have a ton of stuff back there and they always notice I have a gorilla cart, I have trash cans, I have dollies, I have hand trucks. Where does it all go? Where does it stay? How do I keep it secured? So I'm going to run through my truck while we are waiting for a customer to give us a call back. And I'm always basically gonna show you all of the main things I have, some of the smaller items that are more day to day, what I think is important and what I don't really focus on too much. And some of it may seem like overkill for some of you, but I also know people that have a lot more than I do. So I like the expression, proper prior planning prevents poor performance. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through my stuff. And if you're getting into this, you're low new, maybe you'll catch an idea from it. If you've been doing this for a while, maybe you find something you're like, huh, didn't think about that. That would be a good idea. So hopefully either way, you guys will learn something about it. At the end, go ahead and comment down what are some of the main things that you like to keep in your truck at all times and what are some of the things that maybe are necessary but you like to be prepared and have just in case. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so starting with the bed of the truck, I always keep extra bungees with me because I ever do minimum pickups or if I do a delivery, I have my hand truck I keep back here and I just lock it up with the cable. I always have an extra tarp. When we get into the truck itself, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of tools that are more for just in case purposes. So this is my auto bin. I mentioned this in the Dollar Tree video. I spray this in the truck after I go in the dump because it smells. I have extra safety glasses, bug spray because I'm working in the outdoor yard, sunscreen, not that I ever put it on, but I should, uh, more cleaner, and just in case anyone tries to walk up on me while I'm in my truck, I will do stuff. We have our tool bag. I keep pretty simple tools. I have a drill, extra batteries, drill bits, hammer, socket wrenches, all the fun stuff. Down here are my construction shoes for when I have a job that has a lot of nails, debris jobs. Those are puncture resistant on the bottom, steel toe on the top, and they are sneaker style, so they are still comfortable to wear. The tape I use on delivery jobs. This bag holds all of my bungees and extra straps and carabiner clips that I use with my tarp. We have a floor runner. We talked about this in the video. This is a nice selling point to help with customer satisfaction, especially when it's raining outside. These are not very expensive. You roll it out in the front entry, so when you walk in their house each time, you're not tracking water and dirt throughout the foyer in the hallways. This is a padding that I use for my hand truck more when I more so when I do deliveries, or if I notice that there's a really nice piece I think I can keep or sell, I might slap it on real quick just to take it out so I don't bang up the piece. These are moving bands. These aren't necessary for junk removal. I use them more for my deliveries and small moves I've been doing lately because it got a little slow but they do come in handy for tying drawers of things shut for example we just got this file cabinet yesterday file cabinets are fun but the drawers slide open when you have them on a hand truck so you put a rubber band on it helps hold it in place back over here I have safety cones I put one out by the front of my truck and I put another out by the gate of my trailer when I'm parked along the street just in case somebody isn't paying attention, they're not going to hit me. Now, if I were to lift the seat up, underneath I have a hump strap, which I haven't talked about yet on the channel or shown demonstrations, but that is something that is very good to have. If we get down under here, because like I mentioned, normally I lift the seat up, I have emergency backup straps, and I have the orange tape that you would use if you have something protruding past your truck. So that's that. On this side of the truck, we have an extra security cable. I have my power um, extender for my trailer lights. It's on my front seat right now, but I, don't, I always normally have it right here. WD-40 for the trailer, saw just because. And then here's our equipment. So I always have my mattress bars, two dollies, leaf blower. Always have extra signs with me and extra tarp just in case. Always have my DOT triangles in case I break down on a highway, jack, all that fun stuff. Raincoat in case I'm getting just absolutely drenched on. This to help absorb smell. You can get like a three pack of these at Walmart for like six bucks. These work pretty well, I think. 
And then we have extra contractor bags down here. I have two rolls. I always keep them in the truck just in case you get a job or you need to bag stuff up. Shrink wrap, again, is more for deliveries or for side jobs. If you thought we were done, we're not. If you think this is a lot of stuff, it probably is. This is everything else. So in here, I have extra paper towels in case I have a spill. I have extra gloves and masks and booties and sanitizer wipes for when I'm doing nasty jobs. I have extra pairs of goggles. I have trailer hitch lubricant for the bowl. I have this that came off a job accidentally. I have my Sawzall. I have three pairs of gloves in case somebody's helping me. I have extra straps, extra Dewalt batteries, power drill, or sorry, impact drill. I have extra batteries for the Sawzall as well in case I'm cutting up a lot of stuff. Extra straps, extra saw blades. These are jack stands for the trailer in case I need to replace the tire. Obviously the trailer is a lot more weight than the standard jack stand can hold. First aid kit, we talked about this in the Dollar Tree video. Make your own. Obviously I don't have a Lexus, I have a Nissan. I got this on a job, filled it up with stuff I know I can use on a job if I hurt myself. That's that. I just took a shower and I'm sweating again. Please like the video. <laughs> So this is my emergency kit. I would have this with me regardless if I did junk removal or not. This has an extra gas can in case I run out of gas. There's jumper cables in here among some more safety stuff in case I ever break down. I have an extra water bottle. I have the emergency SOS sign. There's a poncho in there. And there's a tire repair kit. I have a tire inflator i've had this for about five years now i used to use this on my hyundai when i worked at the movie company because i hit nails all the time this has been a lifesaver 57 dollars at lowe's i've used it countless times extra paper towels of course i have more tire repair kit stuff on the side here this is one of my go-to things it never leaves my truck no matter what <sighs> look at me it's getting hot all right let's talk inside hand sanitizer don't worry about that Mileage books for both the trailer and the truck. The reason I keep track for the trailer, one, no, it does not count towards taxes, but it is good to keep track so you know how often you should change the tires or to grease the axle or to check the lug nuts, check your PSI, whatever you want to do. I also help using it to keep track of how many miles I've done because I like comparing it to when I used to use the U-Holes. So in the truck, always have extra business cards, extra flyers, extra pens never even though i do electronic invoicing now i always make sure to have that stuff on me i also always carry an extra pair of clothes with me in the event i am out and about and i get a call on the spot and they need me to go right now you better believe i'm gonna go right now always have this binder with me this has all my information this is my insurance just one of my copies just in case this, I thought, was always helpful to have with me. I know the things I need to know, but this is the pricing for our um, our disposal here in Florida. Obviously, this is very cheap. Some of you are probably pissed off looking at this, <laughs> but that is our pricing down here. And the only thing that has changed is construction is $68, but garbage is still 42 And then I go ahead and have all my different locations here in case I ever need to look back at this and then there's notes and if you ever have a customer that argues with you why you can't take something boom this is my little handy dandy pouch in here I have my cash receipts I have a whiteout pen I have my square reader extra charger cable or extra charger cable for my phone as well so I always have everything that I need and then all the other good stuff. Did I mention, by the way, that it is 97 degrees outside right now with humidity and the heat index is, uh, I think it was 107 or 108. I've been out here for, what is this, a like 10 minute video? I've been out here for like 11, 12 minutes sorting through stuff and I'm sweating. So welcome to Florida. But that is pretty much everything I have in my truck at all times. That is how I package stuff the only one piece of equipment is sitting out at a time that's a hand truck and is locked up with the seven ply correlated uh you know bike lock thing that i actually got the same exact one on a job once before but the lock was kind of rusted out and just for fun i got a heavy duty bow cutter and it took me about 20 minutes to get through it so 
if somebody really wanted to try, they could. But at that point, like I would hope I could catch them first. So that is that. As far as the bigger pieces of equipment, my gorilla cart and my two trash cans always stay on my trailer. Lately, I've been actually keeping the gorilla cart off my trailer and only using it if I know I have to use something that has a yard involved because it's really good for hauling, like, let's say, bricks or pavers or stuff from, like, a shed around a side yard to the front. But I haven't been keeping it with me on a daily basis because I've been using my speed packs lately in the last couple of months. Um, I used to use speed packs back in the day, but they're disposable, and it takes a while to go pick them up. So I've been using the gorilla cart because it pays for itself time over time. But that is why you probably don't see my gorilla cart as often. And then... That's pretty much everything. I don't normally bring any other equipment. I don't really do like rentals for anything, or at least I haven't had the need to. So that's kind of the gist of everything I have with me on a daily basis. Yeah, that's a decent amount of stuff. I know some people that have more than I do, and I know some people that go a hell of a lot less, and they would never in their right mind have that much stuff in their truck ever. Now, in my experience, especially as a mover, if I had to have just two pieces of equipment with me along with the tool bag, I would have a hand truck and a four-wheeler dolly. Those two alone, you should be able to handle a decent amount of your work, assuming you have the strength to, say, lift a mattress. Now, if I had to add one in there, it would be mattress bars. So, four things. A tool bag, preferably along with a power drill. Hand truck, pair of mattress bars, and a four-wheeler dolly. Those four things, you should be able to tackle 95% of your junk removal jobs, and I am including hoarder houses. Now, to make things more efficient, a little bit more easier, have a Sawzall with you in case you need to cut something up. Even if it's just boards, I have yet to use my Sawzall to cut up a hot tub yet, or to cut up a shed. I use it to cut a large wood, you know, workbench table in half, or to cut... 16 foot long pieces of wood and half because my trailer is only 12 feet and I don't want it sticking out. So that's what I mainly use my saws off for. If you're doing a lot of cleanup jobs, whether you have a dump trailer or not, consider getting some contractor bags so you can back stuff up quick, carry it out to your truck, you're done. So those are the main things. I would recommend that for safety reasons, you have work gloves, you have disposable gloves, disposable masks, maybe get the K95 mask if you're going to be do doing like a maybe a house where somebody passed away in the house and they were found a week later, a month later. Those don't smell nice. Having those kind of things is very beneficial. But are they necessary? No, but they're good to have. I would also go the extra mile and invest in some work boots or you know, shoes that are either steel-toed or uh, penetrated proof on the bottom in the event you do a lot of debris jobs. Obviously, you can protect everything else, but if you step on a nail, you can't do anything about that. You have a nail on your foot now, and that could just be a simple pull out, wash it out, clean it, whatever, or you might need to go get a tetanus shot. So just making sure that you're protecting yourself in small ways throughout can go a long way. I would also look into cleaning equipment, so getting disinfectant spray, disinfectant wipes, getting facial wipes, hand wipes, hand sanitizer, whatever. We're dealing with people's junk. More than likely, we're not dealing with a clean environment. So you may be touching bacteria, traces of, of mold, or something that's been infected with something, you know, or maybe you're going to deal with something that a cat's urinated on in the past or pooped on or... You know, whatever it is, you're likely not dealing with something clean and you should always take protective measures to protect yourself. This is junk removal, but it doesn't mean that we're junk, just the stuff is. So always protect yourself. That's pretty much it though. Let me know what are the main things you keep in your vehicle. What are some of the things that you don't think are necessary, but you keep just in case. Curious to see what everybody else does. But that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.